Hello, welcome. My name is Phil Taylor from BodyLanguageMatters.com and today we're going to be talking about the head tilt in body language and what it means. But before we do that, we have to understand one basic principle or a few basic principles. I don't say one, but a few basic principles. It is all around the framing of the head tilt and the context you find yourself in. So the context you find yourself in will give you an idea or a clue as to what the head tilt really means. So for example, if you're um, in, in deep in conversation in a coffee shop somewhere with a person that you've only just met or they're your close friend, the two, two are very different, and somebody tilts their head to the side, this is a sign of interest. But what the context around it is, is where they are, the environment they're with, and the people they're with as well. So it's the environment they're in and the people they're with as well is where the context will give you the clues to what it really means. Now, a lot of other people in body language talk about baselining them. So you've got an idea if they keep on tilting the head to the sign, is that something that they always do? A baseline is simply that, is an idea of what they do naturally throughout the course of a conversation or at the course of their day-to-day actions. And then you, anything that deviates from that baseline, so anything that deviates from their normal behavior is then considered something, a body language cue that you can pick up and use, if that makes sense. Now, just before we get into all of this, um, if you want to read about the head tilt, you can check out my website, which is bodylanguagematters.com, and this can be found here. Um, you can check it out at any time you want, and this goes through the whole idea of what we'll be talking about today uh, and the head tilt as you, over there. Okay, so let's get into some of the main reasons that people would be tilting their head and I'll try and give you some examples as well. The first one is interest and agreement as we've just previously stated. An example of this would be if you're giving a speech um, and you're on stage and you look across and you see people tilting their head and this is multiple people in the audience, you know they're, they're interested and they're intrigued with what you're saying, um, which sort of element with elements of agreement in there as well, which is which is interesting for you to see as well. If you see this and you see this multiple times, then uh, throughout a lot of people in the audience, because a lot of people will be mirroring each other as well. That's a different topic about mirroring, but bright, briefly is when people are in tune together or they 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 like each other they'll follow each other's behaviors body language behaviors and mirror them and also their language but that's for a different there's a different conversation on a different day so if you see that in that setting then you know that they're interested and intrigued in you and again to go back to the other analogy about the calf where two people are sitting um side by side or face to face and one of them turns the head as the other one's telling a story that indicates interest. The next sort of area is courtship or relationships. So if you see um, a woman tilting the head towards a man, this is sort of like vulnerability. Again, this is interest and intrigue, but also showing um, part of the, the neck. There's a vein that runs through the neck and it shows uh, in, it shows interest or um, some sort of courtship or attraction because men like to look at that area of the body. Another area is discomfort. Now, when somebody tilts their head to the side, they could be they could have pain in their neck. Now, I don't know about you, but if you ever cricked your neck or uh, your back, it main your neck, and you always try and lean to the opposite side to the pain. Um, so that's a, a, that's an idea around why they could be tilting their head. Again, the context will give you the clues that you need to decipher this. Um, you you also see um, a, a tilt the neck sometimes when people feel inferior to you, or so inferior to you. So maybe they're trying to show a sign of interest by tilting their head, but also feeling inferior to what you're saying. Again, it goes down to context and understanding what's going on within the conversation around you. Also see a lot of people in photos tilting their head to show interest, confidence, or attempt to appear more engaging. You'll see this quite often now on Instagram and you'll see people taking or trying to pose or trying to get the head to the left or the right side because a lot of people now know what size their best side is for their photos. Um, 
again, it's just sort of one of those things. It can. It's all about the context. Though. I know we're going to keep on repeating this, but it's always about the context where you see these things. Sometimes a head tilt can actually mean disinterest or exhaustion. When somebody's trying to move away from a conversation, they might actually pull away with their head um, to the one side. You, as I'm trying to do here, or, or just say. So you can see that as well. Um, again, it's sort of the, the same sort of idea. We also have the idea of boredom. People can get bored and move away with their head, leaning across to the left or the right to try and get away from them as well. And you'll see these kind of things. So the main thing about the head tilt is interest. People who are interested, you'll see them tilting their head. Now, this is a top tip that I learned many years ago, which is if you want to seem interested in someone or show them on a non-verbal level, level, you would tilt your head to the left or the right side, depending on how you are. But for me, it's the left side to show interest and you're almost showing your ear towards them. And this is sort of like a submissive sign, but also showing interest in that idea. And you'll sometimes see, if you think about it, you'll see dogs doing the same as well. That's more about confusion or trying to figure something out. But, you know, there's these ideas around this. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, it's short and sweet, this video, because there's not much to it. It's all about the context. It's all about the conversations. And it's also about where you see this body language. Be, uh, this be, it's also where you see this body language behavior and there'll be multiple other cues as well so you'll see facial expressions you'll see people shifting the body around hands up and all these different ideas around this i hope this has been interesting to you anyway or of interest to you and, and helps you determine what the head tilt really means thank you again please check out bodylanguagematters.com subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again on the other side goodbye